Good morning traders and welcome to Phoenix Blues Morning Update. Today is Thursday the 24th of March 2016 and we're going to be taking you through the markets for today. Um, by all means, if you do have any questions in relation to anything, any of our videos or uh, today's morning update, feel free to pop us an email on the information displayed on your screen currently. Um, first things first, just have a quick look at the global indexes. Um, we're going to have a quick look at how the American markets closed off yesterday. Um, what we can see is we can see a sea of red um, across the, the Dow Jones, the S&P 500, um, closing up around 2036 uh, for the S&P 500, uh, which was around just over half a percent down. Um, if we have a look and see how the Asian markets are fared um, and how they closed down, um, we can see that the, the Nikkei in particular, again, another half percent there and just under uh, a one percent on the topics in Tokyo. Um, Hang Seng's more than one point or one point four percent or just just around one point four percent down. And um, if we have a look at current trading um, right now, um, virtually all of our um, uh, virtually all of our indexes just about, well, we've got the CAC and the IBEX in Spain, and um, they're down. Uh, the DAX and the, the, the FTSE, obviously, just just around float, floating just above where it's opened up today. Um, not doing uh, great, if, as we can see, and predominantly, as, uh, as we'll see a little later in this video, um, a lot of our indices and the markets have really been hit by the slide in commodity prices, um, oil, gold, um, us the usual suspects really. And um, just moving on now, we, we, as, as I said, we'll discuss that in uh, a moment. But um, having a look at the outlook for today, um, what we can see is we've got, um, we've got certain key announcements coming out today. Um, the data being released today, um, it really, if, we, if we're looking at the US durable goods orders and jobless claims data, um, in and around 12:30 uh, p.m. Remember, this is GMT, um, so we've got key announcements um, coming out uh, just after midday on the USD. And um, really, upbeat readings here, I guess, will be supporting the case for the Fed to uh, steadily tighten monetary policy. Um, we know that the greenback has is effectively up uh, on the week so far. Um, Really, it's really been helped by comments from, um, I would say, certain key members or officials of the Fed um, uh, backing uh, a number of hikes which should be made. Uh, in fact, um, I think uh, the, the, the president of uh, the Fed in Philadelphia, Patrick Harker, um, said that he would like as many as three more hikes by the end of the year. That obviously has, um, has had a, uh, a knock-on effect. Um, and uh, the greenback ha has really come on strong. Remember that um, here at Phoenix Blue, we have been backing the fact that we're going to see a, a dollar strength throughout the course of this year, um, and um, any good data that comes out just after midday today um, is going to have a knock-on effect, and we should see um, the greenback again um, push on forward. And in fact, having a look at... Um, uh, the dollar index, right now the dollar index is up and it's doing really well. Um, but moving on really quickly, just want to have a look at one of the key culprits for uh, the slide in a lot of our indexes. Um, it's uh, We're having a look at WTI right now on the daily time frame. At the time of recording, uh, WTI is sitting at 39.55. What we can see is, as you can see on this daily, uh, daily chart, We've seen a slide um, from the tail end of last week um, where we really we really saw a, a strong rally um, through last week, and we, we've seen it just literally slide or give away its gains. And we have to remember that, well, first things first, if we, uh, yesterday there was um, an announcement, obviously the weekly report on crude inventories in the U.S. was out. Um, the data that came out um, suggested, in fact, that stockpiles were... Um, were brimming, um, and uh, you know there was there were too much, and uh, the rise in stockpiles really is grinding away at the gains uh, in prices that we made off the tail end of last week, and that has obviously had a knock-on effect um, to many industries. Um, and we, you know, we shouldn't forget. We shouldn't also forget that um, you know all the gains were made off. Um, 
huge producers, as we were discussing last week, include, including Saudi Arabia and Russia, um, to freeze production. Um, we know that OPEC production is still fairly high, um, and you know we do have an oversupply effectively right now. Um, so, and the demand the, the demand is still the same. So, obviously, prices are going to tumble, and that's exactly what we're seeing. I would probably expect um, right now, if if things go the way they are, we'd probably see um, a pullback to at least around the 35 mark in and around this blue zone, as we've indicated previously, a key area of support and resistance. And um, we'll see what we can do from that point onwards. Moving swiftly on, um, we're just going to have a quick look at uh, cable. Uh, apologies about the about the busyness of the chart in front of you. Um, but what we can see right now is uh, cable or GBP USD on the daily time frame, and it really is falling through the floor. It's, um, it's currently trading in and around the 141 mark. Um, it's n it's really has taken a tumble um, yesterday and, and previously. Remember, the greenback is um, surging, so that we, we, we are seeing um, bouts of dollar strength this week. But in particular, if we're looking at cable, um, let's not forget that um, we are coming up or a few months off Brexit. There's a big debate on right now if um, Britain should stay in the Eurozone or not. And that is obviously weighing on public minds. And um, that's having a knock-on effect onto the British pound and sterling. Um, looking at it in, in, in terms of uh, technical uh, technicals, uh, if, we, if you do have a look at the weekly time frame, it is trending very well. So. Um, this really is technically can be explained um, as you know, for those that are trend following as um, uh, a movement in 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 the in the direction of the trend. Um, so for us, we're definitely trading this short right now. Um, it's an easy trade. Um, by all means, we should be targeting, and um, for, for sure I am. I'm targeting this low. Remember, this is um, this is very much an this is very much a market low uh, for cable at 13844 in and around that zone. Um, and that's what we're going to be looking for. By all means, guys, if you do have any questions, feel free to pop us uh, an email. Um, or if you've got um, any queries in regards to what we do and how you can learn from the information that we provide, um, feel free to follow us on our social media, media at, as you can see on screen. And um, look forward to hearing from you soon. Enjoy your Easter weekend. Take care. Bye-bye.